Distinguished guests, welcome to the University of North Texas Spring 2021 Commencement Ceremony. There we go. Honoring the bachelor's, master's, and doctoral candidates from the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, Social Sciences. We will begin our ceremony in a few minutes. Please take this opportunity to silence your cell phones and other electronic devices. We hope you will enjoy this ceremony and remember it fondly for many years to come. Because this is a special day for all of our graduates, we ask that you stay until the event concludes so that everyone will feel honored by your presence. And in order to keep our community safe, please wear your face covering at all times and remain six feet from other groups whenever possible. For those of you watching the live stream from a remote location, welcome. We wish circumstances were different so that we could all be together as we celebrate this momentous occasion. We are tremendously proud of our graduates and we are grateful for everyone who has supported these graduates on their journey to get here today. Now, please stand as you're able as we recognize the members of the platform party and remain standing for the presentation of colors and the national anthem. Dr. Neil Smatras, president of the University of North Texas. Dr. Daniel Feehan, regent, University of the North Texas system. Dr. Jennifer Cowley, provost and vice president for academic affairs. Dr. David Wolf, vice president for university advancement. Mr. Michael Lukey, President of the Student Government Association. Dr. Adam Fine, Vice President for Digital Strategy and Innovation. Mr. Shannon Goodman, Vice President for Enrollment. Dr. Mark McClellan, Vice President for Research and Innovation. Dr. Debbie Rohr, Vice President for Planning and Chief of Staff. Dr. Tamara Brown, Executive Dean, College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences. Dr. Andrea Miller, Dean of the Frank W. Sue Mayborn School of Journalism.
Please be seated. Well, good evening, and what a lucky, wonderful day we have. There's no rain right now, and this makes the third graduation where we've been blessed. And I just want to say to all of you, a wonderful evening and a beautiful time will be had today. We're here with family and friends, and I see a sea of green, and it just makes me so proud. I want to welcome you. I'm Neil Smatras, the president of the University of North Texas. And I'm delighted that you can be here at our university-wide 2021 spring graduation, honoring graduates from the College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences. And boy, there's a whole bunch of you out there. I'd also like to welcome our graduates, family, and friends who are viewing today on live stream. Hello to all of you out there. So it's a gorgeous evening. And I'm so glad we could all be gathered here at Apogee. Graduates, I know that your families are really proud of you. I know that this is a special moment for you. And it might not be exactly the moment you crafted in your mind, but it's a still a special time, a time that I believe you will remember forever because of the uniqueness of the year and our situation and because of the significance of your accomplishments. Your UNT family is so proud of your perseverance to complete your degree. And it's such a transformative time. Joining us for tonight's celebration are a number of vice presidents and deans who are sitting in the blanks, as well as our stage party, who you will hear from shortly. And we're excited to watch you begin the next step of your career. I'd like to give sincere thanks to our incredibly talented performers from the College of Music, Tyler Thomas, Wes Diedzik, and all the musicians in Dr. Tratzel's Wind Orchestra for their awe-inspiring performance that kicked off our ceremonies beautifully. You know, commencement is my favorite time of year. Uh, I love this moment. And during a normal graduation, people go, well, you're up there, you're shaking the hands of literally 5,000 graduates, and don't you get tired? What gets tired? I'm not known for my good knees, but that's not the problem. You know, I tell people, the part of me that hurts the most when graduation's over are my smile muscles, because I'm smiling from ear to ear the whole time. I'm so proud of the accomplishments that you've had. So today, we're going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate the culmination of your hard work, your creativity, your tenacity, your dedication, qualities you've all displayed resolutely and unreservedly during your time at UNT, even when we've had a pandemic, a polar vortex, I like to call it snowvid. We've really tested ourselves. We've tested your resolve during this final stretch in your college career. Unsurprisingly, you've passed the test with flying colors, and here you are today ready to graduate. So take a minute and look around. Take it in. Kind of absorb the moment, because it's bigger than all of us. It's a transformational time when your own rocky paths of twists and turns help you to have arrived at this moment of sweet success. You may find as you go through life that the struggles you faced are seared into your memories even more than your wins, but today you get to savor both. The knowledge that you fought through undeniably challenging circumstances, and you've emerged victorious sitting here at the finish line. But let's remember, the finish line is just the beginning of the next phase of your journey. So it's not how strong you finish, it's how strong you start the next race. Now, you've been surrounded my friends and family this whole time, and together we want to celebrate your accomplishments and let you know how proud we are and how proud we'll continue to be by the bright future you are prepared to create. While this may be the end of your journey, it's the beginning of the next, and whether you're a really recent graduate from a legacy family with two, three, four generations of UNT graduates, and we have those, I think we might even have five or whether you're a first-generation student paving the way for the, everyone else in your family, your family tree. So what does it mean to be a first-generation student? I'm a, I'm a first-generation student. I was supposed to be a ditch digger in Buffalo. That was my fate. 
to labor. And it's cold up there. But my curiosity and passions drove me elsewhere, just as yours have. So if you're a first generation student, please stand up and let us recognize you. Now, while you're standing, let me be clear. I'm proud of every graduate here, whether you're second, third, or fourth generation, but, but, what you are doing right now is special. You're not only changing your life, you're changing your entire family tree. You will have brothers and sisters who want to go to college because of you, nieces and nephews who view you as a role model, your moms and grandparents and dads will live a better life because of you. And you will have changed your family's history forever. So remember that. Don't take it for granted. You are torchbearers for the future for your entire family. And I thank you for that. Please, big round of applause, everyone, for all of our graduates. And please sit down. Speaking of generations and family, I would be remiss if I didn't point out that you're surrounded by those who loved you, put up with your shenanigans during these journeys, helped fund you, helped support you through long, sleepless nights, and who care deeply about you. And they're proud to see you transform from college student to college graduates. So I would like you all to take a moment to please find your parents and loved ones in the crowd and give them a giant round of applause. Graduates. Your family, friends, faculties, advisors, mentors who've supported you really believe in you and pushed you to succeed. To all of today's newest degree holders, you're sitting here because of the venerated title of university graduate because you've been unafraid to tackle the challenges thrown your way, no matter how big or small. Throughout your university experience, you've excelled. You've finished exams, you've written term papers, you've been in lab projects, you've composed exceptional essays, and you're now preparing innovative projects and participating in leadership as you leave this university. You've made your mark in internships that readied you for the real world and the ever-evolving roles and future of work that lies ahead. You've led your campus organizations and collaborated to serve our community. You know, I, I want to talk about that for just a second. One of the most important things all of you can do is pay it forward, to make the world a better place, to serve through not only the good works of the career life that you live, but to give back. And that's something that's deep in the DNA of being part of the Mean Green family that caring attribute, the ability to know that you can transform the world by really working hard to make the lives of other people in your communities better and stronger. You've made UNT a place where failure leads to iteration and then success in your collective accomplishments. So thank you for inspiring us every step of the way. It's impossible to really overstate how important it is to earn a college degree it's not just a piece of paper, it's a one-way ticket to a better future. You've done so much together, but there's more to do. As the world is facing a critical juncture, think of the challenges ahead that we're counting on you to help fix. Our world combating concerns ranging from climate change to social justice to public health, all three of which you've experienced in the past year. This transformational education at UNT has readied you to face these challenges and more, and to ask the right questions, find the best answers, and strengthen the world around us. None of you know exactly what the future is like, and you may not even have an inkling of what fields you'll be involved in and engaged in three, four, five years from now, because work is changing. And we expect you to adapt, whether you're a CEO, a doctor, an artist, an engineer, a teacher, an activist, it's your caring, creative, tenacious spirit that will serve as a beacon, illuminating your way to success and guiding those around you. So on this great occasion, 
the occasion of your graduation. Let's also remember that you're part of a history. You're part of a 130 year history which concludes with these ceremonies. Classes here began in 1890 and UNT founder and president Joshua Clinton promised that UNT's aim would be to become leaders in the education of young men and women of Texas, fitting them to credibly fill the most important positions in business and professional circles. And that's what you're going to do. In the 13 decades since then, students like you have flocked to our institution to carve out those promised prospects for themselves. The hard work, sacrifices, and successes of this campus. Sorry are truly historic. And so here's the best part. You're now a part of our history. You're now part of the history that will create, be created as we go forward and celebrated by graduates in subsequent years. That's why I'm so happy to officially say congratulations, graduates. So as you graduate, you're not alone. You'll join a network of 450,000 other alum. And that's a really important network. You're going to hear more about that later from the individual who heads up our Advancement and Alumni Foundation. But that is growing every year, thanks to you. It grows by about 10,000 graduates a year. So be proud of the Mean Green. Hang your diploma on the wall. Don't hide it. Expand the network and expand its influence through your ability to celebrate what you've done from the bottom of my heart, you make me proud. You make all of us proud. We're so grateful as a faculty and as an institution to have championed your achievements. So before I go, I need to remind you of my three simple favorite words, words we use at graduation and in a number of other places, words I hope you'll hear many times in the future that remember, that help you remember who you are and where you come from. Go mean green! And now, I'd like to welcome Mr. Daniel Fian to bring greetings and congratulations from the UNT System Board of Regents. Thank you, President Sebastian. And good evening, graduates, guests, and families. It's a thrill for me to be here tonight to help celebrate you. And now it is my pleasure on behalf of the entire UNT system to extend my congratulations and well wishes to today's graduates on reaching this extraordinary milestone. Looking out at all of you today, I know the future and the UNT legacy is in exceptionally capable hands. And really isn't that what a college education is all about? Contemplating what's next. The lessons you've learned during your time at UNT have prepared you for whatever path lies ahead. For some of you, that may be medical school or law school. For others, it may be heading straight into the workforce, ready to make your mark in the classroom or the boardroom. Whether you're the next oncologist or copywriter, police officer or policymaker, whether you're destined to build the next Fortune 500 company or embark on a career path we can't even imagine yet, it's apparent that the years to come are yours to shape. Just as you have shaped UNT for the better, so you will shape society for the better. This has been an exceedingly difficult year, and though you were often physically separated, you still found ways to pull together, to hold each other up, and to cheer on each other through these trying times. That is the Mean Green Way. The ideals of creativity, resilience, and caring have defined this university since our founding in 1890. And that is the indomitable spirit that you will continue to carry forward, no matter where you end up or what circumstances you may face. Year after year, 
I see the mean green graduates transformed by the opportunities they receive as students of this great university. The beneficiaries of extraordinary teachers, important and extensive research, and service to the community and others. Now you are ready to pass those lessons on as ambassadors in your own personal and professional communities. A college degree is an official symbol of the knowledge and expertise that you have acquired. And you sit here today with many exciting and unexpected opportunities ahead of you. Embrace all of them with enthusiasm and determination. After all, the mean green never shy away from a challenge. Class of 2021, on behalf of the UNT System Board of Regents, I wish you a very heartfelt congratulations and all the very best in the years ahead. We are so, so proud of you. Good luck. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Cowley, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs at UNT. It's a distinct honor for me to share in this celebration with you today and to congratulate you on this tremendous accomplishment. Let me once again emphatically state that what you have accomplished during your time at UNT, particularly over the last year, is indeed tremendous. No student in more than a century has had to persevere through a global pandemic to earn their college degree. Through sacrifice and persistence, you've done exactly that, which means that now you join the impressive ranks of the one-third of Americans who possess a bachelor's or advanced degree. Don't take this milestone for granted. Savor it, cherish it, celebrate it revel in this remarkable feat. What makes today even more special is the awareness that those who have most supported you in your academic journey are cheering for you and will continue to cheer for you as you embark on the next phases of your life. While the degree you have earned will be conferred on you as an individual, you all know how vital the encouragement of your personal networks has been as you've strived to make it to where you are right now. The heart of UNT, like that of every great university, resides in the students, faculty, and staff. Without one, there would be no need for the other. As Chief Academic Officer at UNT, I want to single out one particular group to recognize, our faculty who are celebrating your accomplishments today, though we cannot all be together. We, your teachers, have had the great pleasure of watching you grow intellectually during your university journey. We've sought to provide challenges, while we've also offered to help you find the success you need. We planned your journey so that it would be more than just a progression of courses, but rather a means to create your vision of the future. We've all seen firsthand how a UNT education, and more importantly, the UNT spirit, has made the world a better place. Just look at our alumni who have drawn on their immense talents and endless compassion to help others. Think of Joe Green, the statue who may have passed as you entered Apogee Stadium today, an NFL Hall of Famer who created the Agnes Lucille Craft Green Scholarship to support UNT students whose families have been impacted by cancer. Or Jim McInvale, better known as Mattress Mac, who in disaster after disaster has opened the doors of his Houston-based gallery furniture locations to assist those in need. The fact is that there are too many world-bettering alums for me to list them all here, but know this, the torch is being passed to you. Your kindness, your creativity, your tenacity is the key to unlocking a brighter, bolder future for all. We take pride in knowing that you're ready to move beyond these walls and begin what you had in mind years ago when you made your commitment to this degree. Because your time at UNT has taught you more than the valuable academic knowledge, you have learned how to overcome, yet there are always opportunities to learn something new. 
Read as much as you can. Listen to podcasts about unfamiliar topics. Delve into documentaries. Develop a new skill. Seek out opportunities to learn more within your field and your professional roles. Look for industry conferences and seminars. Volunteer for leadership roles. Obtain professional certifications. And stay in touch with those you met at UNT along the way. No matter how many years ago you turned your tassel, we're always here to support you. Congratulations to the newest graduates of the University of North Texas. UNT will be your forever family and our caring university will always be your home. We're excited to watch you take flight and soar to new heights as the next generation of scholars, entrepreneurs, artists, teachers, innovators, and leaders. In everything you do, I know you will continue to make UNT proud. We've now reached the moment that you've all been waiting for, the conferral of degrees. We're gonna begin with our doctoral degree candidates. I know graduation day looks quite different than what you may have anticipated, and I mourn the loss of those moments we all look forward to, your major professors hooding you and hugging you on the stage before the entire university. Even still, we're so thankful that we're able to celebrate your fortitude and perseverance. We all know the blood, sweat, and tears that it took to get here. We're so happy that your hard work has paid off, that this degree you've solidified your reputation as a scholar who brings the highest qualifications to your chosen field. As Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. With your specialized knowledge, you're now ready to be better, to understand the world and transform it in meaningful and impactful ways. That's the true value of this degree, and we know the legacy of your advanced learning has only just begun. Honorees, would all the candidates for doctoral degrees please rise? President Smotrisk, on behalf of the graduate faculty, the graduate student council, and the deans, I have the distinct honor of recommending conferral of the degree to which each candidate is entitled. We've got two of you and you look good. Now, if you haven't noticed, they're wearing pretty fancy robes, which is part of the tradition of uh, gowning uh, and celebrating a doctoral degree. They also have these things around their neck. We call them hoods, part of long and storied histories dating back to ancient England. You are now our newest graduates, so let's get on with the show. On the recommendation of the faculty, the Graduate Student Council, and the deans, and by the authority vested in me in the state of Texas through the UNT System Board of Regents, I hereby confer upon you the degrees for which you've been certified with all the rights privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. Congratulations, graduate, on your tremendous accomplishments. And please, everyone, join me in recognizing the highest level of degree granted at a university to our two new doctoral students. Congratulations, and you guys look great. Please be seated. Today, we also celebrate UNT's newest master's degree graduates. A master's degree can represent so many things, a promise to further your educational journey, a deepening and expansion of subject area knowledge, a step towards professional goals that you've set for yourself, a bridge to joining a doctoral degree. Whether you set out on this journey for one or all of these reasons, know that the pursuit of a master's degree has been well worth your investment of time and talent. This is knowledge that will remain with you for a lifetime, 
and help you better understand and adapt to the new developments that will no doubt impact your chosen field. Your degree gives you a competitive edge, and no matter what your future plans hold, please know that we commend you for an excellent accomplishment. Honorees, would all of the candidates for a master's degree please rise. <laughs> President Smotris, on behalf of the graduate faculty, the graduate student council, and the deans, I have the distinct honor of recommending conferral of the degree to which each candidate is entitled. Well, whether you're going on for a professional career or a future in education, it's a big moment for all of you, and I appreciate you and honor you. On the recommendation of the faculty, the Graduate Student Council and deans, and by the authority vested in me by the state of Texas through the UNT System Board of Regents, I hereby confer upon you the degrees for which you've been certified with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. Congratulations to all of you, and again, a big round of applause for the universe's newest master's students. Please be seated. Now, it's my great pleasure to celebrate our bachelor's degree holders. You should be so proud. And we, along with all your friends and families, are so proud of you as well. You undoubtedly embarked on this academic exploration knowing all the benefits that lie ahead for those with a college degree. Better and more plentiful career opportunities, greater earnings potential, the ability to go further, faster in your chosen field, more stability and opportunities for your entire faculty. You now have the skills to go anywhere and do anything. We know you will soar to exceptional heights in everything you do and look forward to all the ways you will continue to make us UNT proud. Honorees, would all the candidates for baccalaureate degrees please rise. President Smotris, on behalf of the faculty and the deans of our undergraduate colleges and schools, I have the distinct honor of recommending conferral of the degree to which each candidate is entitled. I have to say, I miss watching, watching you walk the stage and the celebratory dances that I know many of you have pent up inside of you. So. Let's continue with your conferral. On the recommendation of the faculty and the deans and by the authority vested in me by the state of Texas through the UNT System Board of Regents, I hereby confer upon you the degrees for which you've been certified with all the rights, honors, and privileges pertaining thereto. And you are now the newest bachelor's students anywhere. Congratulations, and please, everyone, join me in celebrating this wonderful group of students. Now, at this time, it's my privilege to let you celebrate one more tradition and ritual. It's my honor to instruct you to move the tassel of your cap to the left side to proclaim your new status as college graduates. Please be seated. Hello. I get to be the first to say congratulations, but I don't want to be the only one doing it. So let's hear it again for our newest graduates.
My name is David Wolf. I'm the Vice President for University Advancement. And again, congratulations, fellow alumni. Earning a degree is always worth celebrating, but you should be especially proud of your perseverance and determination during this last year. Now more than ever, your UNT degree signifies that you are a member of a truly caring, creative, and resilient community. On this important day, you are joining the ranks of a network of imaginative leaders, innovators, people who are making a difference all over this world. And I'd like to share some stories of alumni that you will become just like. Alumni like Brent Ryan, a self-made man who used the skills and lessons he learned here at UNT to build a company from the ground up, leading a team of people to the top of global tax services and software solutions here in DFW and the world. And now Brent shares his success with his alma mater. He has paid it forward. He, of course, made the largest gift recently to the University of $30 million to name the G. Brent Ryan College of Business. And Brent has said that his UNT experience transformed him, opened his eyes to a world of incredible possibilities, a world that you are stepping into now. But let me also share the story of another amazing alumni, Elliot Dunlap, who was thinking about success long before he became an executive with Microsoft. But he wasn't only interested in his own success. As a student here at UNT, Elliot recognized that we needed a multicultural center. And with his friends and student uh, colleagues, and on the back of a napkin, they sketched out an outline of what that would be. And you know it today. And it's because of people like Elliot Dunlap who are focused on turning ideas into excellence. He has helped, it has helped him become not only a respected leader in his industry, but a leader here at the University of North Texas. Alumni like Wendy Zomner, an amazing UNT graduate who went on to create the one and only Urban Decay Cosmetics, a top selling makeup brand that changed the game in the cosmetics industry. With her company, this alumnae fueled an inclusive beauty revelation. Wendy set out to bring bright colors, self-expression, and individuality to the beauty industry, and she succeeded. That's the sort of creative change that is possible with a UNT degree. Lastly, I'd like to mention George Esquivel, the first member of his family to attend a four-year university, who says when he started here at UNT, he didn't even know what a credit hour was. But when he left UNT, George went on to co-found Four Corners Brewing. You may have frequented it. A hugely popular craft brewery here in Dallas, which interestingly and successfully was purchased by a little company called Corona just recently. Now this alumnus who truly embodies the UNT entrepreneurial spirit is giving back as one of the founders of our new Latinx alumni network, a group that is working to recruit and support the next generation of Mean Green leaders. I share this with you because I myself as a UNT alumnus along with you, and I wanna welcome you to our strong and active alumni network. I know from personal experience that our alma mater, located in the true heart of Texas, can help you form lasting relationships and find lifelong success. As you move on to pursue your purpose, remember that you are an important member of our UNT family. We are proud to recognize your accomplishments today, but even more proud to recognize your accomplishments as you move forward. And your alumni association will be here to support you through every stage of your life and career. To highlight this university's commitment to you, our graduates, the UNT Alumni Association has gifted you your first year membership. And as a member, you join a group of active, engaged alumni who are ready to help you succeed. So, stay connected to us. Keep your contact information updated. Join us at alumni events. Participate in our mentorship programs. Follow us on social media, but more importantly, 
Tell us about your successes so that we can celebrate with you. Stay connected to one another. Network with other UNT graduates. Support UNT alumni-owned businesses and maintain the relationships that you have made here as a student. And now and then, like right now, take a moment and reflect. Remember the sea of green here today and what it means to be mean green. Now lastly, to our graduates with class rings, I got mine on right here. There you go, fist up. There you, there you go. Show it. Take a moment to turn your ring so the University of North Texas faces away from you. Do it now. This tradition symbolizes that you are ready to face the world. We hope you will continue to wear your ring with pride as you work to achieve your dreams. While many of you have started your UNT time here alone, you are now part of a network, as Dr. Smotrich said, of more than 400,000 alumni who believe in you and care about your future. So, officially, on behalf of the UNT Alumni Association Board of Directors, I am the first to welcome you to the Mean Green Alumni family, and congratulations. All right. We have one piece of business that we have to do. I want everybody to put your talons up. This is a talon. And on the count of three, we're going to shout, Go Mean Green. This will be the first time you've done it as a UNT graduate. Everybody ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Go Mean Green! Okay, that wasn't good enough. You know, but come on, you graduates. Let's go. On the count of three. One, two, three. Go me green! Congratulations, graduates and families. <laughs> President Smith. Okay, got to admit, I'm pretty excited for all of you. And I just want to build off one of the stories of the alum that David Wolf just gave us. He said, she said, instead of using makeup, this is Wendy Zellner, to hide blemishes and make us all look the same, I'm going to treat, create makeup that celebrates our individuality and our differences. She was a disruptor. And as you go forward, you're going to be challenged in a world that's very complicated new problems and new ways to think. The old ways aren't going to work anymore. I encourage all of you to be disruptors. Think out of the box. Come up with new solutions and new ideas. Solve the problems that face us. Your disruptive spirit, your creative spirit, your innovative spirit will serve you well. Things that you've learned here are now to be put into practice. It's time for you all to take a chance, to take a chance on yourselves and your futures. And I know you're up to the task. I know that you're going to be able to do a great job of this. And I got to tell you, we're counting on you. We're counting on you to make this world a better place. Think of the challenges we're facing as we go forward. Global warming, climate change, a huge problem. We got to experience a taste of that this winter. But green energy, electric cars, something that felt like science fiction to me four or five years ago, are, is now becoming the reality and the standard. Someone like an Elon Musk had to think that up. And that same dream could carry us to the moon and then to Mars. And maybe one of you will be on one of those flights, busy disrupting, creating a multi-planet human species that will carry us into the future, a future none of us can begin to predict. I know it's crazy, right? I think people thought Elon Musk was crazy. He's not so crazy. It's OK to dream big. It's OK to change how people around you work. So don't be satisfied with the status quo. Strive to be exceptional and to do something that will make this world a better place for those who follow you. 
So I wish I could shake each of your hands and personally thank you, and maybe someday we'll get to do that. I would do want to remind you that for all of your faculty and staff members and mentors and advisors who have helped you here, there's nothing that we like better than hearing from you. So celebrating your success is very, very meaningful. Drop an email note now and then, or a text, or put it on social media. Let people who follow you and who helped you know what you're up to. It really re helps us to remember why we're here and what we're doing. We're excited to see you start this new phase of your academic careers with your UNT degrees in your hand. And I'd like to recognize and thank our Student Government Association, Michael Lukey, for serving as our mace bearer for this ceremony. Thank you, Michael. And as we begin to wind down today, I just want to encourage all of the families here to maybe take a visit to spin through the campus. Look at some of the fabulous facilities that we have. Our Welcome Center, the Student Union, they're open. There's a lot of places you can take picture. Go to McConnell Tower or the academic buildings where you spent so much time studying. Take a look. Remember where you were sitting in, I don't know, uh, Calc 1, sweating it out, trying to get a good grade so you could go out and pursue whatever your dream was. And who knows, if you run through the grounds, maybe you'll even see Lucky as a final going away tribute to you. Distinguished guests, though we're safely apart, let's sing together one last time. Because wherever you are and whomever you're with, it's time for us to always remember that we should honor our alma mater. So I'm going to ask all of you to please stand. And we will, for one final time, Together, before you go off to face the world, sing glory to the green and white. Here we go.